Thank you. Uh, as you meet today at the door, there's uh, a, fact, a couple fact sheets for you. One is actually on the Auditor General information you've probably never seen before. But the other one, and it's blue, but the other one is a fact sheet on the Consolidated Depot. And, you know, it's been a topic of controversy, but you need to know that in 1997, there was a report that came forward for Morshin Hirschfield about our depot. And in 2004, the council spent $113,000 to get a report for depots that talked about our depot and that it needed to be replaced. And the quote from the report is, renewal of the city's present depot facilities is not practical. The Richmond Yard is too small to accommodate the city's present vehicle fleet, badly needs salt and sand domes, and expanded office space, as well as the existing facilities cannot accommodate growth. So uh, as you leave, you can uh, just read that, and you might find it interesting. One of the things I did when I first got into office, I realized that things needed to change, and in order to lead the corporation, I decided to start with my office. So in 2013, the office of the mayor cost $261,000. The actuals for 2010 were $424,400. And by showing that savings and taking it through the corporation, we developed an attitude that if you need it, buy it, but if you're, if you're not going to use it, rent it. Don't put that shiny thing on the shelf so it can collect dust. Now, I know a little later, later you're going to hear a story, but the actual projected budget for 2010 was $304,000, which is still on $43,000 a year cheaper than at that time. And as I look around the room, I see a number of people here that supported us on the issue of ethanol. And I can't thank you enough for what you did. You know, not having an ethanol refinery in our waterfront is going to allow us to develop the most people-friendly waterfront in the region. And you deserve to have exactly what Newcastle has, or Whitby, or Port Perry, or, uh, or Pickering. An area where you can go down and celebrate the day with your family and friends. It's about building a community for today and for the future. It's about attracting businesses and we're doing that. Today you've heard comments about our economic, economic development department not doing their job. Well, I disagree. When you drive around the city, you will see the benefits of what they've been able to do. Yeah, and I'm really right. proud of the group of councillors that have come together to advance the city. Building a Costco on a brownfield site in 16 months is unheard of. What's even more unheard of is the fact that there's now 500 jobs on an old brownfield. So the city is exciting, it's alive, Together with the help, we can continue the momentum. I ask that on October 27th, you re-elect me as mayor of the greatest city in all Canada.